Okay, so let me present my ano, my topic for tonight. So again, good evening to the two of you. So do I get mga buok naka naka sulod, no? So our topic for tonight is about derivative of a functions. Uh, the examples here are complicated. Some are complicated and some are not quite complicated. Okay, so let's start. So we have derivative of a functions. So we have an example number one here where we are going to find for the for the y prime. We are going to find for the derivative of the function x plus 1 to the cube minus x cubed. So as you try to notice, we have two terms here, x plus 1 to the cube and your x cubed. So what will be our solutions here? Now, all you have to do first and foremost is we are going to, we are going to recall the basic rules of differentiation. Now, for example, uh, the derivative of a constant value or a number is equivalent to zero. Then we have the power rule. No? So we have also the, uh, the quotient, the product rule, the sum, and the difference rule of differentiation. So let's try to recall all those formulas so that we can be able to find the derivative of the given function. For example, this number one, find y prime with the y prime y prime represents the derivative of the function this is y with respect to x or the equivalent to dy dx so here with our given y is equal to x plus 1 to the cube minus x cube so we have the first term here since we have two terms the first term x plus y to the cube and the second term is x cubed so we are going to derive uh one by one the first term so we have here y prime is equal to the power of x plus one to the cube is three so bring down three multiply that to x plus one then to the power of three minus one as you try to notice this multiplied by one plus zero your y plus zero is the derivative of the inner part no the derivative of the inner part meaning to say uh once you do the derivative of the first term you are going to consider first the out uh the whole term derive first the whole term before nimo i derive ang inner part for example the whole term kasi in the first term is x plus one to the cube so we are going to derive the whole term in terms of cube. So that's why we are uh, following the rule of differentiation. Uh, we bring down the n, which is 3, then multiplied by x plus 1 to the power of n, uh, n minus 1, which is 3 minus 1. So this is now the derivative of the whole term, of the first term. Then derive the inner part after that. So you derive the x plus 1. x plus 1 here is the is the inner part so the derivation of that the derivative of x with respect to x is one then the derivative of any constant number is equal to zero that's why we have one plus zero as the derivative of that uh, inner part okay so let's go to continue then the second term which is x cubed then derive that using the uh, power formula so we have here 3 as your n so bring down 3 multiplied to x to the power of 3 minus 1 so if you try to continue or simplify further so we have here y prime is equal to 3 times x plus 1 to the square multiplied by the derivative of the inner part which is 1 minus 3x squared so for your final answer, so we have here y prime is equal to 3 times x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 3x squared. 
So this is your final answer. Now, always remember also that any number that raised to the power of zero is always one. If any variable, now wala tayo makita na to the power of n, that is understood that the n is equal to one. So I hope you get this particular example. No, So this is quite uh, easy as long as we familiarize the rule of differentiation, particularly the power law. Now the power law kasi or the power rule kasi is kahit gaano kahirap yung problem, basta alam mo yung proseso ng power rule, hindi ka talaga magkakaproblema, masosolusyonan talaga yung problem. Okay, so here second <clears throat> second problem is we are going to find for the dy dx if y is equal to x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half now we need to talk about dy the given function is y but that is in terms of x so that's why we have here dy dx kasi Pag our function is y is equal to, for example, s squared plus 2. So therefore, that is dy ds, not dy ds. Now, since it is x, dy dx, uh, if y is x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half. So again, as you try to notice, no, sa ating given uh, functions, x plus uh, x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half that is uh, pwede natin gamitin yung the power formula or the uh, power rule so given y is equal to x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half so your 1 half there is your n so to simplify that using the derivative so we have here y prime is equal to derivative the whole term, kaning x squared plus 2 to the 1 half, is equal to 1 half times x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half minus 1. Then after that, after differentiating the whole term, then we are going to derive the uh, inner term. So derivative of x squared is simply equivalent to 2x. So inner term, your n here is 2. Then we have here 2. Then what is left here is 2 minus 1 that becomes 1. So that's why we have 2x. And 0 here is the derivative of the constant number 2. And it's equivalent to 0. Okay, again, 2x plus 0 is simply the derivative of x squared plus 2. is equivalent to 2x. Simplify further. So we have here y prime is 1 half, x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half, a negative 1 half rather, times 2x. Then we can be able to cancel out your 1 half and your 2. No? Yung denominator natin ng 2, pwede natin makancel doon sa 2 or 1 half times 2, so that is equivalent to 1. So this is now your answer. However, we can be able to simplify this further. If the question there is simplify, meaning to say, uh, since our answer is an, a negative rational exponents or rational expressions, then we need to convert this into positive exponent. So what are we going to do now? Actually, this is already a correct answer. Huh? This is already a correct answer. Y prime is x squared plus 2 to negative 1 half to times x, no? Times x. Then, um, if we're going to convert this into positive exponents, instead of negative one-half, we will make it into positive one-half, then this will be now your final answer. y prime is equal to x over x squared plus two one of, uh, to the power one-half. So we are converting multiplication into a uh, quotient so or into a rational form then this is y prime is equal to x over x squared plus 2 to the power of 1 half so try to notice your 1 half here is already positive now if you are not contented with this particular answer percentage real answer then you can do it in with radical form no so we have y prime is equal to x over the square root of x squared plus 2. 
So, let's try to ask you kung ano nanulod pa, no? Kay medyo na na sila. Sige lang. Okay, so let's continue with your number three. Basta recall lang guys ha. Now, always also recall. Now, it's once uh, we are encountered with radical, no, radical form, for example, square root of x squared plus 2 is in a radical form. So if you wish to convert that into a simpler one, uh, into uh, exponent form, so we have here x squared plus 2 to the 1 half. So pag... pag is cube root, so mean to say that is uh, one third to the power of one third. Kung fourth root, that is the power of one fourth, so on and so forth. Number three, find the derivative of the function yx if y of x is equal to the square root of x cubed plus 2x minus 4. So, you try to notice that this particular example is a product, no? Product differentiation or product rule of differentiation. So, we have two terms. Your square root of x and the other term is x, a 6x cubed plus 2x minus 4. So, in this case, we are going to assign the variables into other functions. So, for example, we let your f of x is equal to your square root of x. No, we let your function of x is equal to square root of x. Then derive, no, derive. Let's muna natin yung uh, f of x, which is equivalent to square root of x, into the power formula we have here: one half x to the power of one half minus one. Simplify the power 1 half minus 1, then we have the negative 1 half. So your final answer of this derivative of f of x is simply 1 half x to negative 1 half. Then we let also your g of x. Your g of x here is 6x cubed plus 2x minus 4. Then we are going to differentiate it one by one, each term. So the derivative of 6x cubed, we have 6 times the n, 3, then x squared. Square here, or the power of 2, is from 3 minus 1. So that's why we have 6 times 3x squared. Then the derivative of your 2x is simply equivalent to 2. Then the derivative of 4 is 0. But I never included any more than 0 here, no? So simplify further, we got 18x squared minus 2. So this is for the uh, g of x. So if you try to recall, no, if you try to recall the formula of the product rule, which we are going to follow. So we have here the y prime of x is equal to the function of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. So since we have already the values of f prime of x and g of prime of x, then we are going to substitute the values na lang. So your y prime of x is equal to your f of x here is equivalent to square root of x. Then your g prime of x is simply equivalent to 18x squared plus 2 plus your g of x is 6x cubed plus 2x minus 4 and the derivative of your f of x here which is 1 half x to the power of negative 1 half. So let's try to simplify, simplify it further. And what we did here in this equation is we used to convert the negative power into positive power. That's why we have here y prime of x is equal to the square root of x times 18x squared plus 2 plus 1 half, we arranged our equation on the second term. 1 half is equal to 6x cubed plus 2x minus 4 times 1 over x to the power of 1 half. So we converted the negative uh, exponents or negative power into positive 1. So let's continue, simplify further. Okay. So we simplify further here. The first term, y prime of x, is we have the square root of x times 18x squared plus 2. Plus, 
uh, the second term, since this is multiplied by one half, we divide each term by two, no? So that's why we had six divided by two, we got three x cubed. Two divided by two, we got one x or x. Four divided by two, we got two. Then multiply one over square root of x. Since your x to the power of one half is equal to the square root of x. So always remember that, no? Always remember. Kasi pag x to the power of one third, so meaning to say this is one over the cube root of x. Now, in this whole term, it is very obvious that our common denominator, no? we have a common denominator here, the square root of x, then simplify. So since we had a common denominator, which is the square root of x, multiply the denominator of this term, the first de term, we have 1, then square root of x multiplied by square root of x is simply equivalent to x. So, ato siyang i-convert, that is, x to the power of 1 half times x to the power of 1 half. So, recall the law of exponents. If the same ang base, i-add ang ato exponents. So, the same atong base, x siya, then 1 half plus 1 half is equivalent to 1. That's why we have x, no? We have x here. Multiplied by x squared plus 2 plus 3x cubed plus, two minus, uh, plus x minus 2. Then we simplify further, multiply, no? We're going to multiply x times 18x squared. We got 18x cubed plus 2 times x. We got 2x plus 3x cubed plus x minus 2 all over the square root of x. Then simplify further your numerator. We arrive with 21x cubed minus x. Ah, uh, sorry, this is 3x. Sorry, ha? This is 3x ni siya, ha? This is x. This is 3x. Uh, correction lang. This is 3x minus 2. Kasi 2x plus x, that is 3x minus 2. So, are we going to correct it later? Uh, so, di ara, oh. Na-correct na dahil siya, diri. So, di ha? Ako na-correct, no? So, your answer, if we are going to simplify this, so that is, ang kaniya itong denominator ng square root of x, Ato siyang gisaka, converting first into one-half or x to the one-half. Ato siyang gisaka and that becomes negative one-half. So that's why 21x cubed times your x to negative one-half. So asa lagi ka ng negative one-half, sir? Gikanis atong denominator. Atong gikonvert ni siya into the power of one-half. Gipasaka na ito mo na nahimo siya o negative one-half. Plus 3x. So, at 3x at diha. Kana 3x at diha. 3x times x to negative 1 half plus 2 times x to negative 1 half. So, the same thing. Take note that a uh, uh, law of exponents. So, the same ang base aning x cubed and x to negative 1 half. Pag the same ang base, ang 3 o ang 1 half ato nang i-add. So, wala siya resulta karon. So, y prime of x is given to 21. x... 3 minus, no? 3 minus 1 half. So, muna siya ang result. 5 over 2. Then, 3x, kani siya. O kani, ato na siyang i-simplify. We got x to the power of 1 half minus 2x to the 1 half. So, this is your answer in number 3. So, taas-taas siya gamay. So, going back there, no? Taas taas yung chagamay nga in solution because we have two terms that we consider. Number four. So number four, we have here a quotient form, no rational form. So what we are going to do here, our solution is simply, again, we are going to break down your given expressions, which is your x of h of x rather. 3x plus 5 over x squared plus 2. Then we are going to compute your h prime of x. So we let your f of x, which is the numerator, 3x plus 5, then get the derivative of the numerator, fx. So we got 3. Kasi the derivative of 3x is 3. The derivative of 5 is equal to 0. Then we have also your denominator, 
we let that as g of x is equal to x squared plus 4. And the derivative of g of x is equal to 2x. So recall your power formula. No, recall your power formula. Now, recall also the formula of your uh, quotient rule, which is your h prime of x is simply g of x times the f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x or all over g of x square. Dili gudin siya pwede magkarambol-rambol, ha? So, dapat kung, kung inani siya pagsulat sa formula, yun ani guna siya. So, dili gudin siya pwede marambol. Kaya kung marambol siya, dako na siya istoryahon. So, all you have to do now, since we do have the value of your functions, g of x, f of x, f prime of x, and g prime of x, so we are going to substitute na lang sa atong values. So, we have here, your h prime of x is equal to the value of g of x, which is x squared plus 4. Multiplied 3, 3 here is the derivative of f of x minus your f of x, 3x plus 5. Then your 2x is simply the derivative of g prime of x, no? The derivative of gx or the g prime of x all over the square of your gx, which is x squared plus 4. Then simplify the numerator. So we have here. So this is 3 times x squared. We got 3x squared plus 3 times 4. We got 12 minus 2x times 3x. We got 6x squared plus 2x times 5. We got 10x all over x squared plus 4 to the square. Simplify again. So we have here uh, 12 since uh, atom type is positive, so I, I arrange it this way. So 12 minus 10x. 10x is taken from this positive 10x. Bakit siya naging negative dito? Kasi negative times positive that is negative 10x. Then negative 3x is taken from 3x squared minus 6x squared. Then we have negative 3x squared all over x squared plus 4 to the square. So this is your answer. Now, if you are going to arrange your answers according to the degree of power, pwede na to unahon ang negative 3x squared minus 10x plus 12. No? So, aning arrangement? Pwede po mag-base doon sa, kanye, sa, sa sign or sa symbol. Un ang positive, then negative. So this is an example for number 4. Okay, number five. Now, number five is a combination of a product and a quotient. So, ayaw mo ka hadlock, no? Nga, kuara na siya. Ayaw mo ka hadlock in that type of kanang kuan equation, combination siya. So, if you encounter this type of problem, all you have to do is to try to investigate or assess first para mahibawaan yung kung unsa yung unang buhaton. So, example with this one, uh, given h of b is equal to 3b minus 4 over b plus 5 multiplied by 2b plus 5, then solve for g prime of b. Now, your 3b minus 4 is considered as one group. b plus 5 is considered as one group. Then 2b plus 5, even though that is enclosed with parentheses, open and close parentheses, that is also considered as one group. So your solution here, first, para simple lang, no? para di gita maglibog, no? para di maglibog, we are going to multiply the numerator, 3b minus 4, multiplied by 2b plus 5. Simplify sa nato siya una. So, 3b minus 4 times 2b plus 5 is given to 6b squared plus 7b minus 20. So, muni siyang atong result once we are going to multiply 3b minus 4 plus, uh, times 2b plus 5. So, since we have now the, ano, we have now the result for the numerator, 
then we're going to we can be able to rewrite our given expression into 6b squared plus 7b minus 20 over b plus 5. So simplify further. We let your f of b here is equal to 6b squared plus 7b minus 20. Then solving for the f prime of b is equal to 12b plus 7. Solving for the derivative, brother, no? The derivative of this one. So we have already your f of b, 6b squared plus 7b minus 20. Then uh, find for the derivative of f of b. So that's why we have 12b plus 7. Then we let also your g of b is equal to b plus 5. Then the g prime of b is equal to 1 because the derivative of b with respect to b is equal to 1. So recall for your ano for the formula. So we have uh, recall for the formula no sa atong kuan sa atong quotient. So we have here your b plus five here is your uh, g of b no g of b plus the derivative of your f of b the derivative of f b which is twelve b plus seven minus the 6b squared plus 7b minus 20, which is your uh, f of b, then the derivative of your g of b is 1, or the g prime of b is 1, all over the square of your g of b, which is b plus 5 squared. So money. Simplify further the, the numerator. So we have 12b squared. So 12b squared, gana? b times 12 b so we got 12 b squared then we have b times 7 we got 7 b then 5 times 12 b we have 60 b then 5 times 7 we got 35 minus 6 b squared plus 7 b minus 20 then all over b plus 5 square then simplify further so simplify na to ang kuan ang kaning numerator 6b squared minus a uh, 12b squared minus 6b squared we got 6b squared plus uh, yung 6b natin plus 7b is equal to 67b minus 7b negative times positive we got negative so minus 7b siya so that's why we got here 60b then we got here 35 plus a negative times negative positive 20 so we got 55 over b plus 5 to the square and that is your answer for your number five so to continue uh, we have here the derivative of trigonometric functions so this will be your next topic no so di lang nato siya as in kanang uh, dali dalion ato siyang isa-isahon para uh, di punta as in ma maldibog so uh, that's all for the polynomial or for the algebra expressions the derivative of algebra expressions so do you have some clarifications or questions Hello? Clarifications lang. Okay, no? So, as long as uh, kanang kuan, kanang we need to familiarize lang yun, no? Sa atong basic rules of differentiation. Uh, maskin pag balik tarin man ang mundo, as long as we know the concept, no? We know the concept of how to derive uh, familiarize the ano uh, the formulas then there is no uh, problem regarding with that so katong kuan katong uh, wala ka attend karon so let's try to understand maybe wala si like connection wala sa internet access but i hope that uh, you learned something no you learned something maski paggamay lang basta 
uh, we learned something how to apply the rules of differentiation and we will continue this no until nga mahuman nato ang kanang kuan mahuman nato ang maxima and minima that is the application of your of your derivatives tanan tanan then sa to integration mahuman nato to find the area of the volume uh, i mean find the volume of the particular to graphs or align with a graph so on and so forth so since uh wala uh, my question then so that's all for tonight no so for clarifications uh just try to ask questions no ayaw mo ka ulaw na ko diri so wala ba tayo problema sa barangay wala na sir wala na sir Na, na nakuha ba ninyo ang topic even though more complicated na siya complicated din nga sir oh so uh, uh, ako man ni siyang record so ako ni siyang isend sa GC so balik-balik ka lang niyo og kanang kuan og kanang paminaw no balik-balik ka lang niyo og paminaw ka ako ni isend sa GC later or kuan to mo uh, either ugma now but the problem here is i think uh, kailangan siguro mo mag-download o kanang uh, katong flash katong itong sa kuan katong sa adobe adobe sure. oh, oh kato kato para mga kuan yun ni eh. okay so that's all for tonight goodbye everyone see you next time so mag-inform lang ko sa grupo you, ako. mag-inform lang ko sa inyo kung mag-release na taog module ha so okay, goodbye. Yes, sir. Okay. Bye, sir. John. Wala na question. Okay, sige, bye bye. Salamat, sir. Okay. Rowan, ay sa gawa. Oh, saman. <laughs> Hi, girl. Nakaya na saltan dai. Wala na ko magugas ko. Asa sa sa? Nagugas kasi ko. Wala ko magugas. Oh. Kagawa ko na human. I-record mo na ni Adam. I-record. Saka-record ko mga... Saka-record ko mga gusto. I-record niya. Sige mo istorya. Naka-record pa ginagawa. Okay mo ko yan sa ano o sa tao. I-record niya na o. I-record niya na o. Wala. Wala ba? I-record niya na o. Ha? I-record pa rin niya, sir. Hantod ka ron. Oh, gali. Napay, ano, oret. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, sir. <laughs> Gagi. Pag-gaon sa wain, ay. Eh, Mag-answer pa ko. Kunuhay. Wow. Kapalunik ka. <laughs> <laughs> yung answer. <laughs> no. Nanag ko yung answer. Ay, ya. Uh, May gabi, eh. Kapalunik ka. yung answer. Nanay, sponsor. Ano siya. Hey, hala. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, <laughs> 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 <laughs>